As we dive deeper into the book of Exodus, we see in chapter 29 that God instructs the Israelites to consecrate Aaron and his sons as the very first priest. Aaron's family, the tribe of Levi, would be the priest for God's people until the coming of the Messiah. You see, at this point in time, in order to have their sins forgiven, God's people would have to visit a priest and sacrifice a lamb as an offering to the Lord. This blood of the lamb would atone for the sins of the Israelites, making them right with God. Now, there's a lot of details that went into this dedication of Aaron and his sons, and we find part of that process of being made holy in verses 19 and 20. Now take the other ram and have Aaron and his sons lay their hands on its head. Then slaughter it and apply some of its blood to the right earlobes of Aaron and his sons. Also put it on the thumbs of their right hands and the big toes of their right feet. Splatter the rest of the blood against all the sides of the altar. Blood was the way that God had chosen to cleanse a person and to make them holy. And God used the blood to consecrate Aaron and his sons. And we see here that the first place that was cleansed with blood was the ear. This is where we hear from God and listen. And when we're not following Jesus, our ear is tuned into the world and its ways. It has to be cleansed of sin so that we can hear clearly what God is saying. Next, we read that the thumb of the right hand was made holy. Check it out. Until we follow Jesus, our hands find things to do that are of this world. They're sinful, selfish things, but once cleansed, our hands can find things to do for God, who wants us to be a servant to Him and to others. The last spot we see cleansed was the big toe of the right foot. This allows a person to go where God wants them to go. The Israelites were to follow God through the desert into the promised land. And today, Jesus wants us, you and me, to go out and be his witness and make disciples of everyone, loving God, connecting together, and living on mission. Here's the deal. Everything changed when God sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Jesus is the great high priest. We no longer have to visit a priest to have our sins forgiven. We can go directly to Jesus and he forgives our sins. We don't have to offer sacrifices of animals in order to be consecrated or made holy. Jesus has done that for us. His blood was shed to make us holy. So have you allowed the blood of Jesus to make your ears, hands, and feet holy to Him? Are you listening to what God is saying? Are you doing what God wants? And are you going where God wants you to go? So today, right now, allow the blood of Jesus to cleanse you of all sinful ways that you will live your life for Jesus, that you will hear the words of God, that you will do what God wants, and that you will go where God wants you to go.